we're out here on the course today with Corey Pavin. Are you ready to do a quick nine? I'm ready, let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Who's the most influential person in your life? Wow, that's a good question. Um, it's either my father or my golf instructor, uh, Bruce Hamilton. One of, those two guys were both very influential in my life. What was your first car? A Ford Pinto, 1974 Ford Pinto. It's like everyone has the greatest cars. It was fun, actually it worked. It, it got me where I wanted to go and and uh, it was one of those pinnos that didn't explode when you hit the back of it. There was a few of those, but it was a different model. How many hole in ones have you had? I don't know the answer to that. I, I, I've counted 14 and I know I've missed a few. So I, I've had a lot and, and all of them are fun. Uh, I think I've made six on the on tour, on PGA tour. Who's your favorite course designer? Well, is that a loaded question no. or what? Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, Probably, yeah, Alistair McKenzie, That's probably. my favorite, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I love old courses that, that just flow with the land. And, uh, you know, they had to build them back then that way. Mm. And I, I enjoy those courses the most. If you had a foursome, who would be your foursome, dead or alive? Well, my father for sure. Uh, Byron Nelson in his prime. Uh, certainly uh, Ben Hogan. And I'm going to cheat. And I'm gonna add Bobby Jones. We'll, That's a great we'll play one. five. If you were stranded on a deserted island, <laughs> what three things would you take with you? Food, water, <laughs> and uh, an iPhone. That's a good one. How are you gonna charge it? <laughs> I'll be careful. I'll be careful. <laughs> What's your favorite sports team? Uh, well, it's got to be UCLA Bruins. You know, basketball. Uh, I love basketball, and when UCLA Bruins are playing great basketball, it's my favorite to watch. Okay, last question. All right. What's your greatest win? Oh, uh, you know, the, you know, the wins I've had over my career mean different things to me. But you know, I think obviously my greatest win is the U.S. Open. Uh, when I won Milwaukee in '06, it was my last win on tour, and it was 10 years between wins. That one meant a lot to me because uh, I didn't know if I was ever going to win again. And when I won that one, uh, that had a lot of personal meaning for me. Well, thanks for doing a quick nine with us. We had a great time. Pleasure.